Hello and welcome to the series of Rapid Minor Videos. My name is Dr. Marcus Hoffman and I'm a lecturer at the Institute of Technology Blanchardstown and also the principal investigator of this project funded by the Irish National Digital Learning Repository. The series of Rapid Minor Videos was created in close collaboration with Ralph Klinkenberg and Dr. Ingo Merswa, the two founding members of Rapid Minor. More videos as well as additional material to some videos can be found at www.rapidminorresources.com. I would now like to introduce Ralph Klinkenberg who will talk you through this tutorial. Welcome to Rapid Minor. In this video we demonstrate how to analyze data and metadata of different data sets. So let's just start with some data sets from the sample directory. If we for example pick the iris data set, drag it in here and press run. You first see the metadata. That is, there is an ID attribute, there is a target variable or label, and therefore numeric attributes A1 to A4. They are real valued, as you can see here, while the ID and the label are nominal attributes. The label actually has three different values, as can be seen here, each with 50 cases. So it's a 150 case data set overall. For the numeric variables, you have the average value and the standard deviation, as well as the value ranges, that is a minimal and the maximal value. And for each attribute you have a specification how many missing values there are. Here there are no missing values in this particular data set. If you go from the metadata view to the data view, you see the actual content of the table. And in the plot view, like you've already seen before, you can visualize the data set with different diagram types and plotters. So this was the simple data set for numeric attributes to nominal attributes. Let's just switch to another data set, maybe a bit more interesting to look at. The labor neg negotiation data set. There's more attributes, obviously. The label is named class, it's nominal, and it describes whether good or bad chances to get a wage increase in the current year based on information about the employment situation, benefits, and the last few years. And as you can also see, there's missing values. So, um, the duration of the employment is an, is an important factor. The wage increase in the first, second and third year may be an indicator of how the wage increase will be this year. And there's other attributes like working hours, pension, education allowance, holidays. And based on these attributes, the target is to predict how is the chance to get a wage increase now. And you can see here in the missing values column that there's many missing values for some of the attributes. For example, if you look at the wage increase attributes, for the first year, there's only one candidate where the information is missing. Maybe the person wasn't working there for a year, but only for a shorter time period. But there's more for the second and even more for the third year, which may be because many people aren't working at their same employee employer for three years or more yet, so the value cannot be known. And there may be other at, um, attributes that are not known for other reasons, like whether there is an education allowance or not, is not always known. Um, or if there is a long-term disability assistance and so on. So missing values seem to be an issue in this particular data set. Looking at the types, the class attribute is nominal, duration is integer, it's probably a number of, of years that a person is already working for the same employer. The wage increase the last three years, numeric and real valued numeric actually. And there's further nominal and numeric values, some numeric being integer, some real valued, and the numeric having average and standard deviation as well as minimum and maximum value, and the nominal 1.7 having the most frequent and the least frequent value, as well as a list of all values and how frequent they occur. Looking at the data view, you see the question marks, they represent the missing values. And for example, you could decide, well, let's only look at the cases that have no missing attributes. We have 40 cases overall, and if you focus on those that have no missing attributes, oops, only two are left. 
So this would be too radical, of course, because with two examples, there's too little data to do anything with it. So this filter wouldn't really help very much. Okay, so we've seen different kinds of metadata and data and um, how to take a look at the abstract level of the data set. In subsequent videos, we will see how to handle missing values. And in previous videos, we already saw how to visualize data, like the Iris data set, for example. So thank you for your attention. For further information on RapidMiner, please go to www.rapidminerresources.com or www.rapid-i.com. If you are interested in upskilling, please go to www.itb.ie where you will find more information about our distance learning MSc in computing science, in business intelligence and data mining. Many thanks to the Irish National Digital Learning Repository for funding this video.